A very good evening to you. I'm Riz Latif. Some of the most vulnerable Londoners are being trapped in a cycle of homelessness due to a change in the law, according to the charity Crisis. It says new, tougher criteria are being used to remove people from social housing waiting lists. BBC London has learnt that across the capital, the number has been cut by a third, raising questions as to who has been removed and why. Our political correspondent, Carl Mercer, has been investigating. Clavia used to be on the housing waiting list. Since August, she hasn't been. She couldn't pay her rent and fell into arrears. Now she's homeless and unable to get back on the waiting list for a home for herself and her two children. You're just stuck in a place where you have no control. And that, that's the worst. I think it's one of the worst feelings. You can't, you can't. You have a problem that you, is your problem, but you can't solve it. Nothing you can do about it. For six months, this has been their home, living with friends of her daughter, but they're about to be on the move again. Since August, they've been permanently just in bags and boxes. This is how I've lived. If I'm here today, I might be there tomorrow. I might be at my mum's for a couple of nights just to... Just to... Clavia is not alone. Across London, thousands of people have been taking off a list for council homes since the introduction of something called the Localism Act six years ago. It gave local councils more power to decide who should and shouldn't be on the list. If they can't register for social housing, then their options are, are, are very, very limited. And, of course, people that can then end up in some kind of spiral of, uh, of homelessness uh, and, and poverty, where you know, if the reason they couldn't register previously was that they had rent arrears, and then they're forced into a more expensive solution. You know, things are only going to get worse for them. The thing is, there's something of a mixed picture across London, and illustrated pretty clearly here where I'm standing in North London. On my right is the London Borough of Camden. Here, waiting lists have gone down by 16,000 since 2012, a drop of something like 85%. But if we switch across the road, just a few feet away, this is the London Borough of Islington, where the waiting lists have actually gone up by more than 4,300, a rise of 36%. Some councils have excluded people like Clavia in rent arrears, but others have introduced rules saying only people who've lived locally can get on the list. But the rules across London are different. We have urged the mayor to do something to bring boroughs together to make things more consistent, particularly the local connections uh, problem needs sorting out at a London level. Because if you've lived in a borough for a few years and lived in a different borough for another few years, you might not qualify for housing anywhere in London. But actually, living in London ought to be the qualification for being eligible for housing in London. Any change like that, though, would come too late for Clavia. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.